daar is dalk een bykie ironie en dat het op een heerlijke warm zonskyn dag is, wat verskye navorsings eenhede op die SA Gallus 2 vanaf Kaapstad naar die IJskontinent vertrek. Hoewel die temperaturen rechtstreeks oor Antarctica bitter koud sal wees, het die span van Rhodes Universiteit dit moeiliker is aan het. Hulle slaap buiten. We pitching tents, so we're sleeping in a few tents. Um, everything needs to be done in these tents, sleeping, cooking, and your hygienic duties, whatever you want to call them. And so we've got proper clothing and lots of food and the right equipment, but it is still very dangerous. We're going to be crossing with um, overland vehicles, so we'll be crossing crevasses, um, which are quite obviously quite dangerous. Also, you, you have the danger of storms. The weather can change very quickly, so if the weather does change and you're not don't have a safety area we can return to. You get exposed you can, and you can actually die quite easily. So, with good planning, hopefully none of this will happen. For the most people, it's the ships that are the worst part. And with the amount of people that are going to see, it's probably going to take a long time. I'm not looking forward to spending too long at sea. Um, we've got a lot of work to do, so I'd like to try and get there as, as soon as possible. Best case, uh, you're probably looking at just under two weeks. Um, more realistically, you're looking at about, at about spending three weeks at sea on the way down there, uh, because the ice uh, still hasn't fully melted yet. A long route now, go up like of knee, here is a passie, and do they do it with grachten. So, I think you have a passion for the place and for the wetenschap and for the people. And it's actually only one of the great reasons for us to have the need to go back. We can go first and we can go back to the whole time.